Techridge here, here to do a video about how to add AI to Stronghold 2. Now, there used to be a file made by CKR Detail that would add it, but it was removed from multiple sites, and now it's hard for people to find, and so I'm making a video since I had this file. And so, I'm going to show you guys how to add it as of 2015, so let's get started. So before I start, I would like to have a disclaimer that the reason why it was taken off is that some people viewed it as a virus. As you can see, it has all these alleged viruses as a virus total on both the 1.31 and the 1.41, both of which I'm going to give you. Now, the bad thing about this is, is that it could be a virus, but the good thing about it is that some people say it's a false positive. You can take it to either one you want, but I do have to give user discretion because it could be a virus. So do not blame me if your computer was infected. I gave you this disclaimer. Now we can continue or you can go to another video. All right, so this is how you download it. You go to Megum, and I will give you the link up here. And you do not hit download. You do not hit import. You hit download through your browser. Then, depending on what browser you have, it'll tell you the downloading process. You should know how to do it. Now, this one's for 1.41. I will also give one in the description for 1.31, if you use that one. But as of now, 1.41 is the current version. So now, after you download it, you will have the zip file. You will open up the zip file. You can use WinWAR or whatever. Then you hit Extract to then you hit your desktop and then you'll have these files. Here are these files. So now you will open up Stronghold 2 Manager. All right, here you go, 1.51, but it's for Stronghold 2, 1.41. And then now, since GameSpy is no longer the server for Stronghold 2, since GameSpy has now been debunked, you have to use Game Ranger or a virtual land, whichever one you prefer. But for this time, I'm going to do the latter and use Game Ranger. So, now that we have Game Ranger in and I have someone in my room, you hit start. All right, then you hit play. And then you let it load. All right, as you can see in the corner, it is 1.41. And you will just wait for it to load. On the other user screens, it will be waiting for host, and it will be a green bar going across with the word cancel next to it. You just let it go and you wait for this to load. All right, and then it'll skip past all that stuff. And on the other user screen, you just hit play. And now you wait for them to come in to your match. And then it'll have Game Ranger on the online button, and you hit join. And then now you have both of them in the game. Now, here's what's different from when you used it with GameSpy. Now, both of you guys exit out of the game. All right. And then now you go to play, and then you go to Path of War. After that, you go to Kingmaker, and then now you Windows D, you open up Stronghold 2, you hit Enable, 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 Enable. You open up Stronghold 2 again. You add random players. Then for good measures, Hit enable, 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 enable again. Then you back out of the game. 
Then you go to multiplayer again. This time you hit host. You skip the passcode. Then the other person will rejoin it. And then now you can choose AI. All right, then we'll do Great Britain. Everyone has to check, check. So we have to boot at one. All right. And then you set both of them on the same side because I just want to do it there. And then you hit play. And then there you go. Now you're playing Stronghold 2 with AI. And as you can see, the AI are functioning normally. They will build their own castle. They will build treasures. They will have their own guys. Now, the reason why I kicked out one player from this is that sometimes, depending on the map, some eight player matches, you cannot have um, six AI. You Sometimes you have to have five, and that's one of the flaws. But it is well worth it having AI. And as you can see, they'll build walls, they'll attack you. It'll basically be like you're playing a single player match with your buddies. So that has been a Tech Rich video. I hope that you like this video and subscribe. And remember, this can be a virus, but also it could be a false positive. So take that into consideration before you download, use your discretion device, advised, and have a great day. All right, now that you have someone in your room,